वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सेवन डैश थर्टी थ्री सो स्टेटमेंट इज द बीम इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड फ्रॉम टू बोर्ड फासन टुगेदर एट टॉप एंड बॉटम विथ टू रो ऑफ नेल स्पेस्ड एवरी इन सिक्स इंच इफ इंटरनल शेयर फोर्स इज सिक्स हंड्रेड पाउंड इज अप्लाइड टू द बोर्ड डिटरमाइन द शेयर फोर रजिस्टेड बाई ईच नेल सो यू कैन सी दीज आर द टू बोर्ड दैट आर नेल टुगेदर टू फॉर्म अ बीम एंड देर आर टू रोज ऑफ नेल्स क्लियर the distance between each nail is 6 inch and there is a shear internal shear of 600 pound is applied so you have to find the horizontal shear fh or vh that is resisted by each nail so let's start with the solution as we know that shear flow which is small q is equal to v into q divided by i where small v is shear flow is q is shear flow which is horizontal shear force per unit length q is first moment of inertia and i is second moment of inertia so we will find first this term and then we will solve toward finding horizontal shear force so i is section property so we will first find section property and for section property we can see that this is these are the two boards that are bonded together this is its neutral axis this is neutral axis this distance is given as 2 inch and this distance is also 2 inch the width is given as 6 inch clear so i for this rectangular cross section is 1 over 12 b h q b is equal to 6 inch and height is equal to 4 inch so you can just put it you will get i which is 1 over 12 6 into 4 cube and when you solve this you will get i is 32 inch power 4 so this is your i now we will move toward finding q and we know that q is equal to y dash bar into a and this area is about the neutral axis this is the area a and this area a is equal to 2 multiply by 6 which is equal to 12 in square inch and what is y dash so y dash is distance from neutral axis till mid of this area and this is y bar dash so y bar dash is equal to 2 divided by 2 which is equal to 1 inch now you have both these values a is 12 and y bar is 1 so q will be also equal to 12 inch q okay this is q so we have q v is given in the question so v is 600 pound i will show you you can see here that is 600 pound so all the values are there so you can just put it in the formula q is equal to v into q divided by i in order to find shear flow so v is 600 multiply by q is 12 divided by i is 32 so when you solve this you will get it 225 pounds per inch so this q is shear flow which means that it is horizontal shear force per unit length i will write shear flow is equal to horizontal shear force per unit length clear so from here you will find this horizontal shear force so as we know that q is horizontal shear force per unit length and you can see there are two rows of nails so it will be equal to two times vh over s so from here you will get uh, v 
pH will be equal to Q into S divided by 2. So you can just put the value Q is 225. Distance between nail is 6. Divide by 2 will give you horizontal shear force that is resisted by nail. And when you calculate it, you will get VH is equal to 675 pounds. And this is the horizontal shear force that is resisted by each nail, which is VH. And that was all about problem 7-33. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe it and click the bell icon so that you can get notification about every latest video which I post. And if you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.